<laughs> Hi there, America and other countries. I don't know who's watching. None of us will ever truly know. But I want to invite you and welcome you to Backstage Beers, presented by our friends at Samuel Adams. That's right, folks. Tonight is a huge deal. We're going to be taking questions from you via many types of social media. You know all about them. I'm not going to list them. I'm 38. I only know maybe two or three. But we're going to get into them. And you're, you're probably asking yourself right now, this incredibly attractive, well-groomed, very well-dressed young man said, we. I wonder who he's talking about. It's just him there right now. That's right, folks. We have a pretty special guest uh, tonight on uh, Conan and Rory chat backstage. And uh, we're not going to tell you who it is because it's going to be a pretty big reveal. But I, I think when, uh, when, that, when that tall, red-headed guy gets out here, I think you're going to be pretty surprised who it is because right now you think you know who it is, but you don't actually know. But I'll tell you this. We'll take your questions uh, the entire time that we're out here chatting about Boston. That's where we're at. We're actually backstage here at Wilbur Theater in Boston, uh, MA. I don't know what the MA stands for because I don't do research, but I know it's in Boston, and I think there's only one of those to my knowledge. Um, but if anyone here watching this is then going to go to the show and find out later that uh, you went to a different Boston, that's on you because we're at Boston, MA, whatever that is. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining us. Uh, hopefully you guys have some questions about Boston. Um, I always love to do a little hint uh, about who the special guest is going to be, but uh, turns out he uh, is from Boston. So if you have questions specifically about Boston or him, go ahead and ask him despite the fact that you currently don't know who it is. Um, maybe people have some questions for me. Let me go ahead and go to this uh, fake iPad and see if I can find any questions here. <laughs> Just me scrolling through all the questions. Here we go. Okay. Uh, Dog Maddox on YouTube asks, come to South Africa. <laughs> That's not a question at all. <laughs> you get a lot of different people tuning in. That's fun. Dog Maddox, thank you for your time and for your demands. Uh, here's one for me. Uh, Eric Raven on YouTube asks, Roy, what is the best part of doing stand-up? I'll tell you what. More than likely, it's the pure joy and the actual connection that you make with uh, a lot of different people who are, you know, they're going through a lot of different stuff, me included, and I love getting up on stage with them in the crowd, and uh, honestly, I've been throwing things at them. Uh, a couple nights ago, we were, you know, we're on this tour now, a couple nights ago, we were in Atlantic City, and uh, I took the stool, and I threw it out <laughs> into the audience, and I honestly thought someone would have caught it, but uh, it did hurt. It did hurt a few people that were in the three or four rows because it kind of hit someone's face and then it rolled back. Uh, that won't happen tonight in Boston. I've been uh, uh, told by the crew here and everyone that's kind of working on the tour to not do that again. And there's a pending lawsuit, so I'm told. <laughs> but I'm on tour right now, so I can't worry about that. <laughs> I got some of this to get into. Why do, why do people do that after they take a sip of something? I always go, ah, we get it. You like the drink. Move on. You know what I mean? You guys get it. Here's another one for me. Uh, MedBC on YouTube asks, is Rory Scoville related to the chart that measures the spiciness of peppers? That's a very good question. Am I related to an inanimate object? Um, uh, in many ways, yeah. Don't tell my wife I said that. <laughs> She's great. She is great. She's watching. She's watching now, and that I'm going to hear about that later on. If we can edit that out, that'd be great. It is live. Thank you. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Ooh, who? This is probably not a question for me. It's probably for our guests. But since they don't know who that is, I'll go ahead and take it because that guest could be literally anyone. And we're gonna we're gonna get him out here pretty soon because it is his tour. Ooh, that's a little clue. That's a little clue. Conan and friends. And who am I going to bring out? Friends or Conan? We'll see. Could be either one of those people. And friends is a person. It's not a description of a group of people. Uh, this is kind of an interesting question. Uh, Hake on YouTube asks, hey, Rory, what's Conan's favorite food? I like that. Give Qu Conan's question to me. I will answer that. Um, uh, I would say lobster roll, but that seems hacky because that's what you want me to say just because it's Boston. Uh, but I won't say lobster roll. Very basic cheese pizza 
no cheese on top. You ever see someone grab a slice of pizza, take everything off of it, and then just eat the pizza and just the sauce, and then they're and then they do it like I don't even like crust. That's Conan, and it's not it's not becoming. It's very gross. It's gross that he's like that. We don't have a great relationship. I'm kidding. We have a great one. I can't wait to get him out here and have him answer questions that I'm pretty sure you guys will ask him about what is my favorite food. Lobster roll. All right. What else we got going on here? You know, this is actually my um, fifth time in Boston. I was in a film called I Feel Pretty. Uh, A lot of people say it was Amy Schumer's I Feel Pretty. I say it was Rory Schumer's I Feel Pretty um, because I feel like my name should be in there somewhere. And uh, I was here for a month and a half, and I'll tell you what I learned. This city is very bikeable. If you, are, if, you are, if you live in Boston, MA, and you have the opportunity to bike, they've got these bikes that you can just rent out on the street, get on those, and get around town. You're going to get a workout, and you're going to be helping the environment. And that's the kind of thing I like to do. You can't just wear a sweater like this unless you're pro-environment. All right, what else we got here? Uh-oh. Amanda, <laughs> here you go. Amanda on YouTube asks, who was your favorite comedian and favorite one working today? Big fan of the Marx Brothers. That's not one comedian, but that is, that, those are comedians. And my favorite comedian working today, contractually obligated to say that it is Conan O'Brien. Very good at stand-up, very good at comedy. I've watched his show uh, a few times through the years when I've been on it. And I've liked those episodes a lot. I've really enjoyed, enjoyed those. Um, someone said, Rory, come to Russia. I just don't see the tour going there anytime soon. But we did go to Atlantic City, and that felt like a world away. So uh, tonight, just a reminder, tonight we're going to be at the Wilbur Theater. That's where we are right now. I don't know what you guys can see, but those steps right back there those are the steps that all that Conan and friends uh, end up going up to go out on stage. And tonight, and I didn't double check any of this, I just took the crew's word for it. But tonight, uh, we're doing two shows because the first 20,000 tickets sold out that quickly that they said, we got to throw another show on and see if we can sell 20,000 more tickets. And then me being me, I go, time out. Time out. Are you telling me we're going to perform for 40,000 people in Boston? And they said, yes. So when you do the Facebook Live, make sure people know that if they want tickets, they need to get those tickets because 40,000 people were on it instantly to get those tickets. Someone here just said they Googled Googled the capacity of the Wilbur Theater, and they lied. I was lied to. It's not 20,000 each show, but it is a lot. 15,000 or something like that. Let's see what other questions we have here. If you guys have questions and you're on Facebook right now, yes, oh, I'm going to look up so-and-so I went to high school with. Why not also send us a question? Maybe ask me or whoever my special Conan guest might be uh, what it was like growing up in Boston. I think there's a few here just so you guys can sort of get a taste test of some questions to come. Uh, Mousy on YouTube asks, who is Conan's favorite employee? Now, I would say technically I am not an employee, but I do know that he does have a lot of uh, strong feelings for my involvement in this tour. And he even said that this tour would not have taken place had I I not uh, agreed to have been on it. So I don't know if... Anyone here watches Conan regularly and you, you love fun facts, but Conan said the tour wouldn't happen without me. So um, that's pretty neat. What's up? Oh, thought you guys had something. Okay. What's been my favorite stop on the... Leah, Leah or Lee on Facebook said, what's been your favorite stop on the tour so far? Just so you guys know, to get you up to speed, this tour just kicked off in Washington, D.C. last Thursday and uh or friday excuse me november 2nd and uh i i so far have loved all the shows we've been in dc we've been in atlantic city and we've been in uh detroit and detroit was pretty pretty impressive i got a standing ovation at all three of those shows which i thought was 
kind of intense. I don't ask for that kind of thing. I also don't require that kind of thing. But ladies and gentlemen, our special guest has made it, and I know you're probably just as surprised as I am. <laughs> From Conan and Friends, Conan O'Brien. Thanks, one of the friends. Hi, see you. Rory. You? Rory, we haven't met yet. Oh, Rory. Yeah. I fly in a different plane. Yeah. Yeah. You know is. A, this is fun. No one's asked this question, but I'll just go ahead and put can it I out just, there. Can I say one thing before you get started? <sighs> okay. It just takes a second. You got it. Go for uh, it. One of the funniest, easily funniest stand-up comedians uh, I've seen in years. You make me laugh on stage, and I'm crying laughing at your foolishness, your absolute foolishness backstage. And I'm sure you feel the same way about me. I have always enjoyed being around you, off stage, and I think on stage you make great strides towards success. I Big felt, fan. That's, that was awful. <laughs> that, was, that was terrible. What I said was just so filled with love, and what you said was uh, you all mic'd up, moist. Yeah, I'm all. For anybody who doesn't know, these are microphones. Yeah, that's how you're able to hear us. Yeah. Um, we got some questions here that we were getting through this Facebook Live event sponsored by Sam Adams here at Backstage Beers with Conan and Rory Scovel. You want, a, you want a great question? Let's make this a regular show, by the way. Backstage Beers with Rory and Conan. We'd probably get free beer, don't you think? I think we would get free beer. Except You're never we, in we, this situation, are you, where someone else is interviewing you? How does it few feel? Times. How does it feel? Hey, take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of anger. How does it feel to be in the hot seat all of a sudden? Well, I kind of like it, actually. Less control. Oh, look at you there with your fancy computer. This is a tablature. Oh. Someone asked, uh, and I'm not making this up, to name all the planets and their capitals. <laughs> <laughs> Did they say planets and their capitals? That would be great. Well, there's Pluto. Um, everyone Cap knows you're from Boston. Yeah. Literally everybody knows that. And B on YouTube wants to know, what's your favorite thing to do in Boston? Oh, favorite thing to do in Boston. Well, a bunch of things I love to do. Of course, if you can catch a game, that is way too loud a slurp. That's a loud slurp. People do that, though, right? But when you're the interviewer, I like slurp. When you interview, yeah. you must leave space for the guest. I'm teaching you. Okay. You're young. You're the. So when would I go for the sip? Maybe not yet. All right. I'm gonna give you a signal when to slurp. You got it. If you can catch a game at Fenway, well, then you've really. That's just magic. It's the best ballpark in the world. I love that. You know what's going to be fun that I'm going to do soon? What? Well, I bet this is going to light up your day. Uh, I'm going to go to the Sam Adams Brewery, and we're going to shoot a remote there. They're foolish enough of, of, to let me and my crew go to the Sam Adams Brewery, and I think I'm going to get free beer. I really do. From I, the Sam Adams Brewery? I think so. And we're going to shoot a segment, and that'll be on the show. It'll be a lot of fun. But... They should probably look at my other remote segment before they let me in, because we usually break things and cause a lot of damage. You won't do that. You won't, not at the Sam Adams Brewery. I think I will. I'm going to break stuff there. It's a mistake to let me in. It's their mistake. If Sam Adams is watching, and yes, you are sponsoring, so you're probably looking into it, he's joking. He's going to be very respectful of the space. Uh, he's a hometown hero. Boston boy done good coming back home. He's going to show a lot of respect to Samuel Adams, who I, I think smash. we all know was the one who rode around warning everyone that the British. That was Paul were Revere. That was, was that? Paul Revere. He does not have a beer, I don't think. So if you don't have a beer, get out of here. And that's how I was raised. That's an incredible rhyme. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, maybe it was Sam. I don't know what Sam Adams did. I know he didn't. He wasn't. The, no. What did he do? I don't know. He's one of those guys who's like, I did something. But I he made he, a good beer. Yeah. That's I, the important thing. And that's more important than winning the Revolutionary War. Well, in the long run, we we'll need never beer. Know who did that? Because history, you know, no you one don't wrote know much, it down. You don't know much about history, do you? Nobody wrote it down, they so wrote, how could we know? They wrote it down, and you refused to read it. Someone asked who, you, or uh, Mousy on YouTube, I already brought this up. They want to know who your favorite employee was. Of all time? Of all time. Oh, man, that's a hard one. I've had so many great ones. I think Sonam Obsession, my assistant. She's got to be one of my favorites. Uh, is she the favorite? I'm going to give it to Sona. Okay. I'm going to give it to Soda. Uh, Daniel M. Vids on YouTube. Is that a real name? I don't think so, but I don't know. We'll find out. We have a way. Yes, we'll find <laughs> We're coming to get you, well, Samuel M. Ved. Yeah, Daniel M. Vids. Well, I'm looking for Samuel. Oh, well, I don't this want is Daniel. Daniel. Oh, that guy. Daniel just wants to know what your favorite Batman movie is. My favorite Batman movie is yeah. the uh, one from the 1960s. 
the Batman movie with Adam West, the real Batman. None of those gothic, hor did I say? Go ahead, go ahead. Have yourself a nice little quiet. Hold on, try that again. All right, but I did almost choke. Here we go. <laughs> Good sip you had there. It takes me four hours to drink one half of a beer. Yeah. I just do tiny slurps. You are a very, you, you're an alcoholic who paces himself. That's what I admire about you. That's the discipline I have. <laughs> As an alcoholic. As Ooh, Joe on YouTube wants to know, Conan, who is your favorite Simpsons character? Uh, As we all know, Conan... Uh, uh, invented the Simpsons. Conan invented the Simpsons and... Yeah. Still on the air. He, had to, he walked away from it. He says, someone else handle it. I've got other you mess know what I, to make. I invented The Simpsons and created it, invented it. Didn't think it was going anywhere after a couple of seasons. So and not only did I walk away. Sold his stock as well. I didn't sell it. Okay. I gave away my ownership of The Simpsons. Uh, I had like an 80% stake. They gave something to Matt Groening for doing some drawings. I forget what he did. I gave it away. I think those are the, those are the kind of moves you make, you know, when you're young and you're just playing cards and you say, I'm a, get me in the biz. Yeah. And I'm sure several people told you that the show was going to do quite well for a It was already long doing one. quite well. There you go. So I'm now in terrible financial shape and Matt Groening and a bunch of other people who did nothing have it all. Yeah. Ridiculous. But yes, his question, I liked writing for uh, Mr. Burns. He was my favorite character. Yeah. He was just fun. He's... He's like a million years old. He has infinite wealth. He's just fun. If you're a writer, you can, you can create all kinds of fun stuff for Mr. Burns. A frail, frail man. Very frail. Yeah. Very frail. Um, did you get, anything, get into anything in Boston today? Did, did I Did you get mix it? it up? Did you get out there? And you bet I did. You bet I did. You all right. walked around Newberry Street. What I like to do oh. is I wear a tweed cap, and I like to put it on backwards, and I like to walk around and just dare <laughs> someone to hit me in the face. Bostonians love that. I'm not joking, but that kind of like boxing style does feel very Boston. Oh, and I like, do. This is how people in Boston fight. They do. Yeah. And, uh, but that's what I did. I walked around <laughs> all of downtown Boston today. I went into the North End, and I just have my cap on backwards, and I'm bobbing up and down, and I'm just hoping some guy takes a swing at this old apple, and I'll come on him like Johnny Come Lately. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> You have a pirate laugh. Thank you. And a Wait, ski is that a compliment? <laughs> you have a pirate laugh and a ski instructor's sweater. It's an odd combination. Someone wanted us to take the tour to Russia. Is that going to happen? Do you, sure. you, you want to go to Russia? Are you okay going to Russia? I would go to Russia. Wow. I guess. You're supposed to say, my career is too hot. My career is too hot I don't right have now. time. I've got other backstage beers episodes to make. <laughs> this is just the first of very, very, very many. This is a good move for you. You're um... What is your favorite food to grab in Why Boston? is everything favorite, favorite, Lobster favorite? Lobster roll. Don't say that. I'm not going to say that. Oysters. Don't say that. Not going to say it. Uh, I don't know what else they serve here. Oh, Mike, what are you talking about? That's People such a People only really kind of talk about those two things. Uh, I come to Boston McDonald's. exclusively. The McDonald's here is better than any other McDonald's. And I know you think it's all the same. It's not. Boston McDonald's is better. Mm, it sounds a little pandery. Are you sure that the McDonald's here is better than everywhere Much else? Much better. The, bu the McDonald's... <laughs> Let's go to the polls. We don't have anyone to do that for us. Oh, sorry. We can't cut away Come back. anybody. Come back from the polls. We're still here. McDonald's? Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, McDonald's... Uh, but what, what do you eat? Like, like, what is the Boston food where you go, I'm going to go get that? Go get me, uh, you know what I always do? I always take my parents to, uh, they love the Capitol Grill. There's one up yep. on Route 9. I take them there. They love to get themselves a steak. That's a great place to bring your parents. And my brothers and sisters join me. And uh, Nothing it's, says more I'm from Boston and very local than, yeah, I take my parents out to Capitol Grill out I on know. Route 9. I know. <laughs> that, it, it's ridiculous. But it's across the street from the only restaurant my parents there was only one restaurant. We got to go to a restaurant once a month when I was a kid, and it was Tony's Italian Villa. And it's long gone, but it was such a big deal. That was a treat. That was a treat. We would go there, and it's, it's in that same part of Route 9. And when I was a kid, we could each have one soda. One Ooh. soda. I grew up in the 1920s, and times were hard. Wait, that's the 30s. 
You know all about that. I feel like times have just always been hard. No, they're pretty good now. Well, I don't keep up with stuff. No, you don't. You don't read history. I only sit with my tablature and let the internet tell me what to think. You've been looking at (laughs) pornography for the last five minutes. Well, that's where all the questions come from. (laughs) Okay, we're going to have to wrap this up. (laughs) All right, we're going to wrap it up with one last question here. This is um, Celtic745 on YouTube. Thoughts on the Red Sox winning? Well, I was at Game 5. I could only make one game. I took my son to Game 5 in Los Angeles. Uh, saw them win the World Series. That was the most... I've never seen that happen before. I know they've won four titles in uh, my lifetime. I've never seen them... Never been on the field when they clinched a World yeah. Series. I was on the field when they clinched, which is illegal. I was actually... Uh, I was right next to the th- uh, third base. You were- <laughs> so actually, it was an invalid win. I ran out prematurely. So they should probably look into that. Sounds like they're going to be doing a redo. Um, but I'll tell you what, that's going to be... You and your sports talk with we, your don't redo. Don't get me into sports talk, but if you guys did enjoy this, uh, this Facebook Live backstage beers with uh, Conan O'Brien and Rory Scavelle, um, don't be afraid to tune in to my sports chat radio talk, sports, sports, sportsy sports. Uh, the title's not great, but I, we do get into some pretty sports You know nothing sports about chat. sports. I do. Quick, um, which one is football? Quick. That's the sport where they, there's a different two teams with coaches. Locker rooms. We're going to go. Yeah. But uh, thanks for joining us. We have other cities. Go check out Team Coco. See if we're coming near you.